It's beautiful today at the farm. The weather is just perfect. The rains are here. It is all green. It is looking so fresh. We have a lot and lots of fresh air. I just love everything at the farm. I think you can see how I'm looking. I'm just looking my best, not so? Grace Boji, once again, from Boji Farms. If you are new to our channel, please don't forget to subscribe. And also, don't forget to click on that bell to notify you every time we have our new video loading. This time, we want to talk about uh, miscarriages among our goats. This is not something new. Most of us, inclusive of Woji, we have experienced this. And most of you have been left wondering, what causes this? Why are my goats having miscarriages? I get several calls from several farmers all over Africa and they're always wondering why, why, why are our goats having miscarriages? What brings about this? What should we do? Today, this is the video for you to watch. Do not miss it for anything. Every farmer always has a, a vision or a goal as to why they are into goat farming. When goats have miscarriages on your farm, it is quite disturbing. It is very discouraging. You have lost time as a farmer because this adult goat has kept that fetus for over for five months. And then within three months or five months, it is expelled out. It means you as a farmer, you have lost money in terms of that kid that you'd have sold if it grows. You have lost time. So what are some of the things that really cause miscarriages in our goats? I've characterized them into two categories. Number one, there is the infectious causes. These are cause, these are like diseases that cause these miscarriages in our guts. And then there are those uh, factors that are beyond us and they are within the environment that they are, we call them non-infectious. Quite a number of us, we have uh, brucellosis in our hearts. How do we get brucella in our hearts? Usually when you buy guts and you don't test them for brucellos brucellosis, chances are very high that you are going to end up with brucella on your farm. Are you aware that even the males, some of us in our villages still share, you find yourself sharing one male in almost five herds in that village. Are you aware that brucellosis can be passed on sexually from one herd to the other? This is something you should think of as farmers. Maybe you didn't know. Usually what happens, you have quite a number of miscarriages and these come at a time when you least expect them. It's not easy as a lay farmer, just like me as Boji here, to know that your goats have brucella. The only clear way and sure way is by you inviting a qualified veterinary official to your farm to carry out a sample and they take them to the laboratories and then they give you back results. They will tell you whether your goats have brucella or not. And some of you are always wondering, if at all I've done this test and my goats have been found to be having brucella, what should I do? If your herd has brucella, it is best you call off all those goats that have been found to have those pathogens of bruce causing brucellosis. What do I mean by calling them off? Calling them off, it means slaughtering them and then you bury them off. I don't know how many of you can do that, but this is the reality of brucellosis. However, the good bit of brucellosis, they are vaccines on the market. And only and only farmers vaccinate your goats after you have been so sure that your goats did not have brucella. Most of us, when we get to see so many miscarriages on our farms, we usually run to the veterinary shops and then we ask for a vaccine to vaccinate our goats. Usually, I would not advise any farmer to vaccinate a goat which is already infected with that particular kind of disease. Remember, it is already infected. Usually, such goats, they do not cure or you are not helping them. It's the work not done. I don't know if all of you or some of you are experiencing this, but this is what most of us are going through. What is your experience with brucellosis? One thing you should also remember that if you realize that among your herd, you have uh, brucellosis on the farm. 
please cull off these animals. Do not sell them to other farmers. Do not take them to the market. Remember, brucella also affects human beings, especially if they undercook this meat. If you realize that you have brucellosis, please do not sell these animals to other farmers, especially if they're taking them for breeding purposes. Remember, every time you take out or you sell out a sick goat, one way or the other, this particular goat will come back on your farm. You'll have done nothing. So ensure that you cull off, you slaughter those animals and bury them off. It is as hard as it is. Most of us don't, but this is the reality. If you want to move from subsistence farming to commercial farming, these are the hard decisions we have to take as farmers. Brucella is one key factor that causes miscarriages among our goats. Another factor to look at is uh, chlamydia. This is a UTI. Some of you may be wondering, UTI is only known among uh, human beings, but even among animals, we have chlamydia. And usually, how do you know? I've faced it hands down. For example, in 2017, I had uh, males that used to graze all over the farm. And what used to happen, my boys would hire them out to the, the farmers around me. And uh, they would hire them for just a mere 2,000 shillings per every goat they were mating with. In the process of doing this, it costed me a lot. I lost some of my good males. Some of them would come when they have uh, blood in their urethra, others have pus. These are some of the few signs you can tell that this goat is having chlamydia. And remember, like I said, this is a UTI, urinary tract infection, which can be passed on from the male to the females. These, all these cause miscarriages in your goats. Especially some of you have these tendencies of uh, hiring out males. You have one mighty male on your, on your farm and you are always away. And what your boys do, they hire out each and every one whose goat is on what? On heat. This is wrong. And if you have been having this kind of arrangement on your farms, please stop it. Actually, I realized that my boys were money hungry and they could not stop this vice. What I did, I made sure that I gave out males, young males, to the farmers around me so that I could stop them from always coming to our farm, sneaking into the farm to always look out for my males. There are still a number of infections that cause miscarriages in your herds. And one other infection is listeriosis. Listeriosis is so common, especially in the rainy season, or especially when you store your feeds, those who feed your goats on, uh, for example, maize bran, that mold, that moldy substance that you feed to, to your goats causes an infection called listeriosis. Listeriosis, how do you that your goats have succumbed to listeriosis? Usually, some of them uh, start uh, vomiting, others have, uh, they, they fail to move because they are having a lot of body pains, others have uh, droopy eyes, uh, they have diarrhea in extreme cases and usually it serves you a lot if I tell you are feeding your goats on silage or hay usually you get a little bit or a piece or you sample some little bit of hay and then you smell it if hay is supposed to be sweet smelling silage is supposed to be sweet smelling if it is smelling funnily or you don't understand the smell please call somebody qualified to help you Remember, goats are picky. Some of them may refuse to eat it. But those that may go ahead and eat it, you are pushing your goats to have an infection. And uh, how is it treatable? This can be treated if it has been uh, seen in its early stages. But usually, listeriosis causes miscarriages in our goats. Remember, we have been talking about the infectious factors that cause miscarriages, chlamydia, brucellosis, listeriosis. They are quite a number, but I've only tackled on those infections that are so common on our farms, especially in Africa. 
Uh, going ahead, we are going to talk about the non-infectious factors. There are quite many that cause our goats to have miscarriages. And usually, most of us farmers, we are not aware. Are you aware that your goats, because of too much stress, a goat may have a miscarriage? Did you know this? Some of you didn't know this, and I guess. How is a goat stressed? Are they like human beings that once they are stressed, this and this happens? For example, when I'm stressed, my hair falls off. The same happens with the goats. <laughs> uh, stress, we usually encourage you farmers to construct for your goats housing, the structures where they sleep. The element of us putting goats under trees stopped with our grandparents. Every time a goat is hit by rain, you are stressing it one time, <laughs> you are stressing it big time, and it may cause a miscarriage that particular goat. Stressors are quite many. Uh, one other stressor is transporting a heavily pregnant goat. So usually some of you when, you, when you are making orders from our farms, you always insist, Madam Woja, I want a pregnant goat. And I, I always give you the reasons as why I don't want to transport pregnant goats. But some of you always, you insist. And usually after one week or two, those goats have miscarriages. They don't have miscarriages because they have been sick, but they have been stressed. That stress can cause miscarriages. And uh, another stressor, big stressor, is when a goat is always sick. When a goat is always sick, it means chances of carrying a baby to term are very minimal. It's just like in human beings. If a human being has a baby in her stomach, chances are like 50% that she's going to carry that baby to full term. Especially, let's assume that uh, even that goat has maybe an infection like, uh, like brucellosis. And is that, that is already another stressor on its own. So always ensure that your goats are not stressed. And these are some of the things that are caused by us, the farmers, unknowingly or knowingly. For example, recently I was watching a TikTok video and this farmer was doing so many things to these goats, not in a bad way, but this farmer was uh, tagging the goats he was uh, deworming the goats. He was also castrating some of those goats. He was also spraying at the same time. Those are so many stressors, especially if that goat is pregnant. Give them doses. Let them have smaller doses of stress. Don't give them the stress in full swing at a go. Usually, those goats stand a higher chance of having a miscarriage. How do you go about this? For example, it's the rainy season, you want to deworm, you want to spray your goats, you want to vaccinate. Usually, prioritize your activities. Say, this week, we are going to vaccinate. And then next time, next week, we are going to give an injectable dewormer. Remember, injectable dewormers are very painful to the goats. That every time you give these injectable dewormers, they are so, so painful. So make sure you do these activities, you plan, pray ahead. I know some of us may not have the time, but remember, this is too much stress if given to the goats at the same time. So simply plan how you are going to dispense these kind of activities. For example, you want to trim the horns, you want to trim the hooves, all these are stressing factors to these goats. Just simply plan ahead before you execute all of them at the same time. Don't do that, it's not good for them. I understand. There are quite many factors that cause miscarriages in our guts. And uh, this has been our part one. But I would want you to follow me in our part two so that we can exhaust all these factors that cause miscarriages on our farms. Please, what you have to do is uh, subscribe. And also, don't forget to click on that notification bell to let you know when this other video comes up. Thank you for watching. Let's keep it at Woji Farms. Bye-bye.